Hello and welcome my dear friends. I'm very happy to be here finally and uh, I'm getting back to slowly getting back to life and to sharing and to creating and I hope that starting from this moment everything will just go better. I'm sorry uh, for those who have subscribed and uh, don't get regular videos from me. I'm very grateful for your subscription and for your support, for your comments, likes, whatever because that actually gives me some feeling of life, of being alive and being, um, being necessary. Um, I uh, hope to be able to make, to produce some more tutorials and I begin that and then I stop it because I not always uh, have enough just energy. But thank you for staying by and staying with me. Um, and today, I'm going to share the latest journal. Actually, this is uh, the second journal from the line of artboard uh, cover ones. You might remember the one with the yellow artboard and uh, uh, mixed media board. And this one is with uh, this bluish, greenish, yellowish something. Also, this is a mixed media board i created uh, a couple of years ago actually a lot of pastes a lot of textures and uh, uh, distress paint everything is covered with, with is sealed with mud podge and uh, uh, then we have the double spine as usually or the hidden spine with two spines in fact and this is also some vintage linen piece uh, that my library friend, library friend, friend librarian brought me when she learned I am using all the stuff like that and she brought them, it's an old piece, I just don't know how old it is, it used to be some kind of cover, blanket or something, it's like, it looks old but still uh, matches everything and uh, some cotton lace some cheesecloth and uh, here we are the journal has actually uh, four signatures and uh, the signatures are wrapped covered with uh, scrapbooking uh, original authentic scrapbooking paper mm, of uh, high quality and i tried to keep to the color of this collection and uh, there are some pieces of uh, uh, vintage botanical books that I keep collecting uh, some stickers and decorations some tags and cards and this is like a label for it and there are a lot of cotton pieces and just fabric pieces uh, that I mm, I fixed there I glued some of them and then stapled and some of them I'm just stapled if ever you want to get rid of them, uh, you can easily do that just um, uns <laughs> unstapling that, undoing the staples, and it's pretty easy, I would say. Uh, this journal is mostly for writing, and here is the, the here, here and there, I just added some uh, photo mats or picture mats but i also made them into pockets and so you can insert some tags there as you have here and here we have a cotton sticker and the main part it's clean i i mean it's empty so it's only for writing but also you can add a lot of pieces with uh, a lot of pieces with uh, just stickers uh, drawings your anything any ephemera that you want and i also used here some happy mail pieces from different people and you also i think they will see and recognize their own pieces and uh, the uh, special part about this journal is that uh, if, if even um, sorry almost every page here is stamped botanical with botanical stamps and then i colored them with color pencils so it's all about that whatever you can see here is first stamped and then colored by me with a lot of love because it's a really really 
uh, inspiring and healing process. And if you care, if you're interested, uh, if you if you really have any idea, if you want to learn something about how to paint stuff uh, with uh, watercolor or just co color paint, mm, sorry, pencils, uh, you can find uh, some videos on my YouTube where I did it with uh, stamped images. Nothing too special, in fact, just combination of some uh, of some shades and so on yeah i have used here like maybe uh half or just uh, two thirds of my collection of botanicals all of these plants they have original names some of them are even made like medicinal plants but i really don't remember their names it's a tag and here we have a, a belly band and let me show you one more piece of treasure that we have here. Uh, it's an old, I also bought some time ago in some thrift store. I bought a collection of this handmade uh, children's uh, books. And this handmade, why I say handmade? Because people used to buy special magazines where they had a couple of pages that you had to cut into pieces and then to sew them in. You can see this is original. It's not me. I never did it. And then I just decorated uh, the pages because uh, I didn't very much like the illustrations. And I added botanical everything. So this one says July. And this is the month when it's done. And actually it's finished on the 7th. So that's the date when it's finished. I think I will even mark it down. I oh, hope, yeah, like this. It's glassine, handmade glassine uh, calendar page. That's why there is no pencil mark, but you can see only this white trace. And there are also a lot of stickers. These pieces are from a medicinal plants book. Uh, this as well, and cornflower, and all this nests, absolutely indispensable, fantastic medicinal stuff, and writing things, and uh, some more, and more, and this also is a very precious thing. This is from my libra li friend librarian who brought me authentic li library cards. This is a, just not a printout, this is just an authentic thing which is really it's very heavyweight and ah, yeah one more here and not to let it go uh, sideways i just will fix it with this uh, originally rusty paper clip i hope it's not too noisy outside because i just can do nothing to that one more pocket with a tag and a photo mat and uh, some more sticker and again all the illustrations yes the pages here let me tell you something about the pages uh, some pieces are coffee stain but some are originally as you can see aged from 1964 1970 uh, notebooks that i uh, bought also together with my books with my medicinal plant books it's like I have a collection of these, so these are very old. And stamps again. And textures are different. Uh, this is like newspaper pa paper, if you call, you can call it just printing paper and something like that. And beautiful, beautiful flowers. I think I would be really enjoying writing in such a journal myself, but I have one. <laughs> also and i keep writing there i started to write medicinal plants and medicinal medicinal teas recipes in one of my journals that i showed some time ago in my videos uh yeah this page uh all these pages are also taken from old vintage notebooks composition books and so on uh, this is an, a botanical book piece just stamped with this wrath and some more tinies 
and cuties and stamps. You can see many of them. What's that? Why isn't it fixed? I just don't know. I just added it here. Yeah, let me edit, leave it here. As, as, is it here? Let it be here. Okay. All in all, there are four signatures. Yeah. Four signatures and um, actually that was that these are the two now the third and uh, this one is uh, an original or authentic uh, library card uh, or library register card uh, we probably still have the same in our libraries this one was with the name and personal data and this is with the dates and names of the books that were given i covered them with uh, with some decorations and with some paper for you to be able to write and here we are and stickers as well it comes here and uh, some more tiny tags and this one says don't give up and uh, more and more pages yeah this is a page from an old book okay some more tags and flips and this is a tag my handmade tag you know made of old computer cards with a sticker this time so i combined stickers this is an old english russian dictionary page oh this is uh, probably check a uh, book on medicinal plants as well and this is my old uh notebook page with my personal notes from my school years probably so you cannot call it call it vintage but still very old and some more stamping i'm still slow it's still hot here about 30 now centigrade okay and one more page like that it's just a, just a flip you can unf unfold it and that's all okay and some more and a set of tags in the tag and the sticker and that's it that's the last one uh, this is a piece of 1962 probably magazine and a tag or mat for your pictures so thank you so much for watching uh, I hope no longer breaks will follow and I will come up with something even off even if not so big with something. This one will go to both my Itza shop and my Lavki shop. As you know, I have uh, another uh, shop. If uh, you go to Itzy, make sure you see the prices. The prices will be higher because I have to pay Itzy fees. And moreover, starting from this month for uh, European Union, uh, it, first of all, it starts taking uh, VAT tax. And uh, so it's going to be even more. And uh, if you buy from Lavki, this tax is not uh, taken. And anyway, I am uh, marking that everything that I sell, that I get uh, sent as gifts because my legal status of a crafter doesn't allow to anyway i cannot mark them as anything else so i would ask i will uh prefer definitely uh to to sell it via lavki and um, it's easier for me it's easier and less expensive for anybody um, but it's absolutely and yes lavki provides a direct link to paypal you pay directly and the rest follows the same way i get in touch with you or if you are my um, older customer i just know everything all the detail because i know i have the access to all the address addresses if you're a new customer just uh, do it and then i'll get in touch with you uh, asking about the details of delivery that's it so thank you so much and yeah one more thing it's about the delivery um uh, terms as you know belarus is now under sanctions and we have uh, 
some issues with air traffic but still uh, our mail services they work um, it just takes more time everything is still working it just takes a little bit more time um, so uh, you should be ready that the journals will come sometime not just in in a week as it used to be a couple of months ago maybe two three weeks or even more probably but it's like the same now almost everywhere i guess so thank you so much again uh, i'm turning on my fan it's impossible here unbearable heat and i hope you are managing your summer in a in a good way in an optimistic and energy saving way i hope to to hear from you soon and to give back something to you as well hug from me thank you so much and bye bye